Okay, gonna get in here and hold on to this bolt head. It's a half inch. And then get up underneath there. There's a, there's a nut underneath those two half inches. Get it started. And I might get it drilled up in there. Let's see, am I going the right way? Yeah, it's just tight. <laughs> Hold that still. Loosen it up. So I'm just going to lower these down to where they're just on the end of the threads there. And this transmission is just going to be dropping the whole time I do this. It's not dropping yet because I'm only, only doing one side here. Only one of these nuts at a time. Okay, so I get it down like that. So you notice how I got that. Just kind of backing it off right to the end of the threads. Right there on that one. So it's just barely hanging on to a couple threads and then I'll it's just spinning the whole bolt now do that to the other side do that to both sides and I'll bring that down it'll bring it down about almost a half an inch so I'll do that to both sides to where the transmission just comes down a little bit to make room for the belt that we're going to put in there and that transmission's not dropping yet because we've got this one bolt basically holding the holding it up and when I take that out, actually I got to support it right here and then that's going to lower the transmission. So let's lower that down a little bit. Bring the jack down. I'll bring it up underneath this bracket right here. And that's going to support the weight of the transmission while we take this bolt out right there. Yeah, there we go. Taking some weight off of the jack stands and we got to take this it's got a uh oh what do they call that type of bolt back there uh it's not a caster bolt gosh i forget the name of it uh, that one right there so it kind of anchors itself it's got that hex in there can't remember the name of this type of bolt yet now when we lower this down a little bit we should be seeing the transmission kind of drop and it's not going to do that on oh my i'm going to try to hold this here and see so we're looking for a gap let's be there and it's going to lower this transmission down on both sides so let's lower this jack and make sure that that's happening okay just being careful and this should just lower the transmission down a little bit. It should be allowing it to come down. I don't see it dropping just yet. Okay, that should be the only thing kind of holding that on there. Shouldn't have to take a bolt off here because that's all that's really Holding that up. Carriage bolt. That's what that type of bolt's called. Carriage bolt. I know I remember it. Where it's got that hex just below the uh, head of the bolt. Alright, so why isn't that dropping? Okay, so we got these loose on both sides. This one's kind of dropping already a little bit. You can kind of see a gap right there. So we got to get that happening on the other both sides. And maybe you just got to wiggle it a little bit for it to come down. We'll figure it out. Okay, so I had to take the wheel off. Actually, it's going to give us better access to this. And it's only uh, this C-clip, E-clip, and a washer that's holding that on there. And then we got to make sure not to forget to uh, key it up. Don't lose that key. And so it wasn't dropping down, but now I did get it to start dropping a little bit. Um, starting to get the gap underneath here to drop the transmission down. Because this this was the one bolt that was hanging up. And when I go to loosen this up, as I'm loosening this up, it's just dropping that transmission. Because that bolt's just all rusted. So if you got one of these bolts that's real rusty, 
it might do that on you. So this right here will probably be enough to get that gap that we need to get the uh, the belt up underneath there uh, around the pulley. Let's see the gap we got now. Right there. Should be on both sides now. Yeah. Looks like we got it. And that ought to do it enough to be able to get that belt up on top of that pulley and clear this deck here on top. And actually didn't even have to remove that carriage bolt any, but we'll get that back in there eventually.